Hi there, as always Marcin and today I'm going to show you how to create warm skin tones in Photoshop. Many people have been asking me how I create the skin tones on my images. I cannot give you the right answer, but I'm going to show you something very simple, short trick on how to work with the skin tones, how to manipulate and which tool I find really good for working with the skin. Before we start, make sure you follow my Instagram to see my current work and my photography. And now let's jump into this tutorial. So we'll get from something like this to uh, this level with just a few simple steps. I'm going to remove this group right now. And we're going to start with the adjustment layer uh, that is crucial for our work right now. Of course, we can use different adjustment layers. I'm showing you the one that is my favorite and is color balance. And I think color balance is a really superior if it's about working with, with tones. So I'm going to name this uh, as a skin. And what we need to do, you don't want to work with the color balance right now over whole image because you want to affect only the skin. So make sure you are doing the selection. There is few selection tools you can do it. Uh, for simple image like this one, we can just use magic wands tool, quick selection tool, not magic wand tool, sorry for the, the first one, magic wand tool will not work that well. And you just make selection. It should be really um, easy if you have the studio image. If not, you can always use pen tool, for example, to make the selection. I have some more tutorials for it. Or you can use select and mask that will help you um, with making the right selection. As you can see, we did not have any issue doing so. So once it's selected, make sure you check the layer mask, the white, uh, square here and then press command or control and I to invert the selection. So now let's deselect and I'm going to press alt or option to show you the selection how it is right now. Um, the model is in the black color right now and the background is in the white color. What we want to do, we are going to invert this. We're going to press command or control again and I as invert. And now the model is in white color and the background is in black color, which means this layer will be affecting only the area where it's color white. I don't like the sharp transitions over here, they are very rough transitions, so I will add some blur to this, um, to this layer, maybe 10 pixels just to make sure the transition are soft and maybe even less. Okay, now, I can uh, make this layer invisible and then I'm going to work with the tools that I have in color balance, shadows, midtones and highlights. So um, in the shadows, the colors here are a little colder. So if you want to go colder, you go in the cyan and blue. If you want to go with the warmer colors, of course, you will go more with red and instead of blue, rather yellow color. But maybe here I would be really careful with the yellow and not go too far and allow myself just for some yellow color. Uh, sorry, not yellow. Um, allow myself for red color and not so much yellow color. We'll see what suits the most. Then mid tone, so somewhere in between here. Let's add a little bit of red and also a little bit of yellow. I think it works really good at the moment. And also highlights. And for highlights, it might be different. So for highlights, I will go not with red, but instead of red, I will go with some colder tone. It will really suit nicely, I believe. And a little bit of not really blue, but yellow as well. So let's have a look before, after. And also what's very important to not affect the contrast. So we're going to, going to switch the blending mode from normal to color. So we only affect the colors and we do not affect the contrast. This image become quite yellowish at the moment. 
to avoid this, we can just decrease some of the yellow um, values on this image to make sure it's not too yellowish. Also, if it's too strong, you can decrease opacity. What I really like to do, I'm making another selection and I like to adjust some saturation to it because it just appears a little bit more saturated and you can decrease the general saturation for the image or manipulate with each and specific color. In this case, I was saying there is quite much yellow, so we can do this as well. Um, we can also change the blending mode to color. It wouldn't be so important in this case. Now put these two to the group. I'm pressing Shift, selecting two layers, Command or Control and G. And I'm gonna call this Warm Tones. Let's have a look. That's the before and this is after. There is many different methods how you can do it. You can also use photo filter, you can use curves, levels, you can use gradient maps and anything you like. What's really important in this case is using masks and selecting area that is the skin. Why I like the color balance is because it gives you a lot of control specifically for shadows, midtones, and highlights. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check the description for more details, for more tutorials, and I'm gonna see you in the next Photoshop tutorial.